Here we see SDR Uno set up with a single VRX as a pan adapter controlling the Kenwood 590SG. In its current mode, with the rig sync button depressed, anytime we change the tuning within SDR Uno, it will be reflected by the rig. So for example, if we move to this uh, other signal I see down here, we find that straight away the rig has followed us down to 14.0735. Uh, conversely, if we change the tuning on the rig itself by moving the dial, we find that SDR Uno will follow us. So we have bidirectional sync between the rig and SDR Uno. But something else we can do is, if we pick up a signal that we're working on the rig, for example here, we can turn off the rig sync button and that allows us in SDR Uno to go and look at what else may be going on. For example, this signal at 14.247 uh, we can leave the rig where it is, and we can turn on the audio in SDR Uno. And so we can monitor what else is going on in the band without adjusting the rig itself. Obviously at that point, if we decide we want to move to the new frequency, we turn the rig sync button on again, and uh, it will move the rig to correspond and, and stay in sync with SDR Uno. Uh, quite a useful feature. But something else you can do, while leaving the rig working one particular frequency, we can turn rig sync off and we can go look at another band. So we can look at 30 meters, see what's going on there. And again, if we see any signals that look like they might be of interest, we can tune into them in SDR Uno, listen into them by unmuting the audio. And again, if we wish to tune the rig, we just turn rig sync back on. While we're at it, let's have a look at 20 meters. When we were at 20 meters before, let's go to 40 meters. And again, we see some activity going on here. We can tune into this signal. And if we decide that we, I don't think we particularly want to listen to that. We could try this one, for example. Find someone that's transmitting for us. And, uh, Seen that in better. And we can now set the rig to follow us again by clicking on the RSIN 1 button. And now the rig is working the same frequency. To get rid of the echo effect, we can now mute the sound on the PC and just listen through the rig speakers. So uh, you can do this at will. You can scan through all the bands. Uh, because of the bandwidth of uh, SDR Uno, you could in fact just take the entire 10 megahertz of spectrum that you can sample and look across multiple bands at the same time, for example, 20, 30, and 40 meters. But this is a basic introduction to how you can build a basic pan adapter using SDR Uno to synchronize with your rig and the extra flexibility you get by being able to check out other signals while leaving the rig undisturbed or going for true full bidirectional sync between the rig and SDR Uno. I hope you found this useful. Thank you.